What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is TDS Darth Wage back at you with another video yet again and the title of this video is going to be called the BB-8 Update Concerns and this, these are going to be my personal concerns alright so I chose this specific gameplay for a reason so I want to talk about the BB-9E droid so as you can see right now I am using Aiden and look, I want you to pay attention to our team combo, who we're using as a team together, alright? I want you to think about them, and I want you to also think about those combined with the new BB-9E droid. So, I recorded two matches, one as Aiden, one as Phasma, alright? I want you to think about these combos as you uh, hear what I'm about to say, alright? So, let's see. It says, similar to BB-8, BB-9E will have a primary weapon that is centered around his shock prod, which stuns enemies periodically and deals damage over time. Alright, so first of all, I want you to think about Palpatine's garbage um, dark aura combined with uh, the Dioxys grenade and the grenade launcher and the trip mines and all that stuff. Alright, so anyway, continuing, BB-9E has a number of abilities based on utility, the first of which is Smokescreen. Upon activation, dense smoke will be emitted from BB-9E through the grids of his body, revealing enemies around him for the duration of the active time, which sounds like a ripoff of Lando's smoke grenade or smoke bomb, whatever. Anyway, his second utility-based ability is Charge Up, which emits a pulse that places his shot prod and all nearby friendly blasters into super success mode. This will cause friendly units to no longer generate heat on their blasters and will also reduce their ability recharge time. <laughs> Pause. Okay, so I want you to think about what that just said. Basically, the new BB-9E droid is fixing to be the dark side version of Finn. Alright. Basically, um, imagine that. Imagine Aiden Versio with unlimited, you know, uh, unlimited cooldown. Right? I mean, as in her weapon will not overheat. Imagine that. As much damage as she does uh, combined with Phasma or Bosk or anybody like that. And also think about this. The BB-9E droid is going to reduce the teammate's ability recharge time. So we already know that Darth Maul has a fast ability recharge time. Think about this. Vader, with the new update, with him being able to choke and block or attack at the same time. And imagine, think about this. Darth Vader with a faster recharge time on his saber throw and a faster recharge time on his um, fueled rage ability where it gives him like 200 extra health and 25% and, uh, damage resistance plus a damage buff and he's going to be getting all of these abilities back twice as fast as he normally would. I want you to think about that for a second. This, honestly, <laughs> Darkseid was already strong without ability um, regen buffs. <laughs> okay, think about that. Alright, let's see who else we can think about. Uh, Kylo. Um, getting his freeze back faster. <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous. Uh, let's see who else we can think of. Boba, with his rocket barrage, getting it back twice as fast. Oh my god. I'm telling you right now, based on just what I'm reading on BB9E, Darkseid is about to be ridiculously overpowered. I mean, even think about Palpatine with his chain lightning. He's going to be getting it back twice as fast. You may butcher it and reduce the range, and you may reduce his damage, but, as a com but combined as a team? 
I'm sorry, but Dark Side is about to become super ridiculous. I mean, really ridiculous. You know what? Before I even say that, let's let me read the third ability. The third ability of BB9E's is Shock Spin. When used, BB9E will spin and release an electric pulse that pushes and damages enemies that are nearby. Any enemies that are further away will have their blasters overheated. So he's basically... Oh my god, hold on, let me let me see if there's any more. Okay, passive abilities. Okay, technical support, he will count his two units, capturing a command pose, alright, that's irrelevant. Oh my god, I'm here looking at it, back to support. BB9E periodically regenerates the main health of friendly characters around him. Oh my god, think about that. Uh, Look at this combo we got right here, everybody. You see Aiden, you see Phasma, and you see Bosk. Imagine BB9E right here, periodically regenerating the main health of everybody around him. So that way Phasma, everybody can camp on Phasma's stun droid. So that way Bosk can continuously get his 500 damage trip mines back with Dioxus and and Vader Choke or Kylo's Freeze or any any combination you can think of. The, and as they're getting kills, they're getting health on kill back and regardless, they are still regenerating main health because of BB9E's back to support. Oh my god! This is about to become ridiculous. And BB9E is going to get health on kill passive, alright. So he's going to get a dodge, a jump, he's going to have increased speed, and a useless flashlight, basically. Okay, so the star cards. Full construction, maximum increased, maximum health regen, okay. Every link systems, every 200 health healed to friendly characters reduces the shock prod stun cooldown. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Alright. Hardy exhaust. The radius of smoke screen is increased. I see you. Enemies revealed by the smoke screen will be revealed for longer. <laughs> okay. Faster, faster. If shock spin hits th enough targets, its damage will be doubled for the remaining time. Wow. Okay. Spin me around. Spin me around. Enemies hit by shock spin will be pushed further away, but its cooldown is increased. Okay. Swift power. The cooldown of charge up is reduced. Supercharged. The radius of charge up is increased. Potent Bacta. The radius of Bacta support is bigger, but the cooldown between heals is also increased. So, I mean, that doesn't really sound that amazing, but just the ability alone sounds ridiculous when combined with health on kill. And it's going to be the same with uh, the light side BB-8 as well. Okay. Wow. Oh boy, this is going to be something. <laughs> you know what? Y'all can go ahead and nerf Palpatine, it won't even matter with this droid on the battlefield. In my opinion, let's go ahead and get into some of the uh, changes to the hero changes. Let's see. Hero changes, added ability crosshair for Kylo Ren's Frenzy and Emperor Palpatine's Chain Lightning, which to me won't matter anyway. Fixed an issue that would not allow Darth Maul and Darth Vader to throw their lightsaber during a voice line. You're telling me a voice line screwed over actual abilities? Wow. Fixed an issue that could cause some of the abilities of Luke Skywalker, Darth Maul, and Yoda to affect enemies through objects. Eh, that's no surprise. Fixed an issue that would prevent players from getting kill assist for multiple buffs. Apply abilities that helped allies killing an enemy UI range for various abilities is now white when it affects enemies and yellow when it affects friendly players intro animations for heroes in the spawn and fronted screen have been improved which is nice 
General Grievous fixed an issue that would cause General Grievous to drain too much stamina from an opposing player when when using unrelenting advance. Okay. Fixed an issue. Are you when you say issue, do you mean bug or do you mean a community complaint? That's what I would love to know. Because if you're saying this is a bug, you're full of shit. Because, for the simple fact, this has been ongoing since the launch of General Grievous. This was not a bug. This was a mechanic that they intended to be in the game intentionally. And now, because there's so much outcry against it, well, uh, guess what? Oh, we fixed an issue. No, you just fixed something that you intended to be in the game. That's all you did. You just changed it. You didn't fix it. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Ray fixed an issue where Ray's mind trick would not apply VFX so and so around the screen of the affected player. Darth Vader. Here's a beautiful one for you to think about while watching Phasma. All right. Keep in mind, Phasma, Vader, Kylo, and Iden Versio. Now, just imagine. Uh, Kylo being replaced with BB-9E. So you got Phasma, Iden, and Vader. So let's read what it says about Darth Vader's changes. Darth Vader is now able to attack and block while choking. Yep, you know, primarily that only window that you really got in on him, well, it's gone. All right, fixed an issue where Darth Vader would remain stuck in the choke animation if he used choke and dash immediately after. Okay, finally, that's something that's nice. Emperor Palpatine. This should be interesting. Let's see how much they fucked him over. Emperor Palpatine removed the slow movement on Dark Aura because they're too lazy to actually fix the game, so they just decide to remove the fucking mechanic entirely. And also, the 90% of the garbage community would uh, was complaining about it so fuck Palpatine reduce single-handed damage from 15 to 14 oh boy you reduce that it was already garbage anyway all right reduce the double-handed damage from 32 to 28 every 0 0.3 seconds so that means he is going to do a total of 84 damage every second so basically, they reduced his damage of two-handed lightning attacks by 12%. <laughs> Beautiful. As if he wasn't... As if he didn't already take long enough to kill anybody. Alright, so the next butchery. Reduce chain lightning radius from 26.25 meters to 18 meters. Basically, Anakin's meters. Okay. Yay. Very nice to know. Visual improvements, that's irrelevant. Reduced Emperor Palpatine's damage against the TX-130 and fixed an issue where Chain Lightning could occasionally go through blocking. See, that was something that already needed to be fixed. Alright, I don't I mean, I'm glad it is fixed, but now he's gonna do shit for damage and that's gonna be fixed. But I am glad that it got fixed. Okay, so Anakin Skywalker, the Pressure Star card, reduced the value from 10, 20, 30, 40 to 10, 15, 20, and 25. Wow. Okay. They reduced Passionate Strike, First Strike damage on troopers. Okay, I don't care about that. From 130 to 70, they reduced Passionate Strike damage on troopers and reinforcements from 250 to 180. They reduced the base damage of heroic impact to troopers and reinforcements from 120 to 100. Ooh, and the biggest middle finger to Anakin Skywalker of them all, Massive Strike Star Card. Anakin Skywalker deals more damage with his lightsaber attack, but his stamina costs are increased. Now, this kind of is a needed change, but at the same time, Anakin already has shit for stamina, so basically, this is going to be a star card that you can only use with a full team if if even that. Okay, so they added a yellow circle around the crosshair for Dooku to show when Dooku has a critical hit available with his initiative star card. 
Yoda, they fixed an issue where presence would not display the right amount of friendly characters who will be affected. They fixed an issue where the intended effects from Yoda's presence ability would not apply if the ability was used in midair. That's a good fix. They fixed an issue where users could receive a jumping advantage while using abilities in the air. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. If it's that one thing, that that one bug where they could like basically fly as Yoda, then that's great that they fixed it. But anyway, fixed an issue for Luke Skywalker where users could receive a jumping advantage while using push. They fixed an issue with Aiden Versio where Aiden's droid shield could not be manually deactivated. They fixed an issue with one of Finn's milestones. <laughs> that's funny. Han Solo. They increased the damage to troopers for the shoulder charge ability from 150 to 200. Yep, so basically Han Solo got a buff. And now time for the big middle finger for the next update, Bosk. We timed the UI elements of Bosk's proximity mines to reflect the moment when they actually become armed, i.e. the moment when they can start to detect enemies in its vicinity. Now when you see the yellow radius circles appear around the mines, you know that they have become armed. This will also make it easier to experience the improvement to their arming speed that the Starcard Trap arming speed brings. Now for the real FU. Fixed an issue where Bosk would throw only three functional proximity mines while having the multi-trap star card equipped. Which was a blessing because with the two extra trip mines placed down, Bosk does an instantaneous 500 damage, so prepare for that bullshit. They fixed an issue where the active time of Bosk's ability Predator Instincts was ending before intended, so now he's gonna get to use that for like a full fucking minute. Alright. So that's basically my concerns. If you have watched my gameplay so far, and you have been paying attention to the gameplay and what I have been saying, I want you to watch this video and think about the abilities BB9E will bring. In this match, replace Kylo Ren with BB9E, where all of all of us are getting a faster ability regen on Phasma's droid, and we're getting health back on kill, and we're periodically getting health back, and our blasters will not overheat. Think about how bullshit this is about to become. Dark Side is about to become so fucking overpowered, it is ridiculous. I know the update's not here yet, but good lord, just reading that sounded cringeworthy. Well, that is basically going to be all for this video. If you like the video, then please give me a like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will catch you in my next video.